welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, we're going to compare the signal on two radios uh, for Radio Romania International this is the 2030 UTC broadcast on 13650 kilohertz that is uh, direct from the Tiganeski uh, transmitter site in Romania and um, we're going to compare the Texan PL 680 and 330 together with the same signal. So here first, Texan PL 680. You are listening to our half hour broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and North America, the East Coast. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.ro channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn and via satellite Eurosat 68 on 11.512 MHz vertical polarization azimuth 16 degrees east. Symbol rate 29.950 mega symbols per second. Standard DVPS2 modulation 8CSK audio PID 510. We wish you good reception conditions. Let's now go to the Texan PL330 receiver. Bogdana Oresko will go on a regional tour to South Caucasus to get there with his Eastern counterpart Alexander Schellenberg and the Lithuanian Foreign Minister Kakeliu Landsbergis. The tour then includes visit to Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia and takes place between June 24 and 26. will highlight the importance of the European Union's success to its bilateral relations with its countries to the South Caucasus region and to the EU's Eastern Partnership framework. The visit signals the EU's readiness to support further cooperation both with and between the South Caucasus countries, including through the opportunities available under the Eastern Partnership. Also, the visit will underscore the EU's determination to promote and actively support sustainable and comprehensive countries. We will now go back to the Texan PL 680. High-level meetings in Baku, Erevan, and Bimisi, and consultations with their counterparts in the country visited. The Romanian Foreign Ministry has sent a visit is very important to Romania, for which South Caucasus has a high geostrategic importance, and that solving the prolonged conflict in the Black Sea region is a strategic goal. The Social Democratic Party in opposition and Malta filed a red in Parliament and no confident motion against the centre-right coalition government led by the Liberal Florin Kutsu, which will be voted on next week. The Social Democratic leader Marcel Cholaku says the motion, the first of its kind in our Parliament, has been reaching to pass. His party accuses the Kutsu government, which came to power six months ago, of inefficiency and leading the country's economy to disaster, and says the people's living standards have dropped. It also says the government has failed with respect to the vaccine rollout and Romania's recovery and resilience plan. Prime Minister Florin Kutsu says he is confident the motion will not pass. While the Liberal leader Ludovic Orban says Liberal MPs will attend the debate of the motion, but will... Let's now go back to the Texan PL 330. The lack of majority and the uselessness of this petty political move of the Social Democrats. The Venice Commission sent a letter to the speakers of the two chambers of the Romanian Parliament requesting additional information about Renate Becker's dismissal as ombudsman. The parliament in Bucharest on Wednesday began procedures to appoint a new ombudsman. 
The only candidate for the post, Fabian Gyula from the Democratic Union of Ethnic Hungarians in Romania and backed by the ruling coalition, was interviewed by the legal committees of the two chambers and received their positive opinion. The official appointment will most likely be made by Parliament next Monday. We recall that last week in a joint session, the two chambers of the Romanian Parliament dismissed Renate Weber from the position of Congressman. She was accused of breaking the law to serve the interests of the Social Democratic Party, now in opposition, which appointed her. In response, the Social Democrats accused the party of appointing an ombudsman who doesn't challenge its decisions and contested... Well, they're doing a pretty good job. Um, the only thing I would say is, and it's something that I've observed on a lot of receivers that are DSP-based, like the Texan PL330, is that on deep fades, there's this weird moment where the signal just like drops off rather than having a soft uh, you know a soft slide to zero if you want uh, which the Texan PL680 doesn't do um, but that's uh, probably typical of that chip it's the way that the AGC is capable of functioning or I don't know it's like there's a drop-off point but still Texan PL330 is amazing up here so one last time Texan PL680 uh, analog PLL receiver with DS with uh, of course the digital display um, on thirteen six fifty kilohertz Radio Romania. With respect to the banking and capital market union, EU leaders will also have talks with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, whose mandate has extended for a further five years. Friday, the West of Romania is under a red code alert for heat and thermal discomfort with temperatures forecast to hit 39 to 41 degrees Celsius and the temperature to humidity ratio to pass the critical level as the dew point is expected to hit 80. Two people died following heavy rains in recent days. And that was the news coming to you from Bucharest, Radio Romania International. And as there's a lot more air traffic control, I do have a lot more airplanes passing over. <laughs> That's that what you can hear. So now uh, let's go to Radio Romania 13650 kilohertz um, on the Texan PL330 receiver. Thanks to the immunization of people in various age brackets, Georgica says that the vaccine rollout will now be focusing on the rural area in an attempt to offer immunization to as many people as possible. Authorities are pledging large-scale vaccination campaigns in Romania's rural regions. Georgica has also pleaded for the immunization of the children and young people with ages between 12 and 19. We recall that Romania was the EU's first country to expand its vaccine rollout so that it may include children over 12. According to official data, there are over 40,000 children and teenagers to have got at least the first dose, which accounts for 10% of the target. A poll conducted by the National Students' so Council has... That was the Texan PL330 receiver, DSP receiver, compared to the Texan PL680 PLL synthesized receiver on Radio Romania 13650 kilohertz. Both are pretty great, pretty good. Um, I give a little edge to the PL680 for its uh, smoothness in the, in the reception and richer audio, but both radios are great. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.